Look at that. It's September 1st and we officially have fall weather. We had this like last week too, it's just monsoon season. But more importantly, it's September 1st, which means we get married this month. Oh, less than 30 days till the wedding. And what does Morticia think of that? Any thoughts to share? Cool, thanks. This is crazy. Okay, I would 100% just stay home and not run my errands, but I have to go pay rent. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other errands. But DJ left this stupid raincoat in my car and I'm actually just gonna wear it. <laughs> I think I'm not supposed to be out here for flash floods, but I kind of forgot about that. And I have to pay rent. Okay, so I've been stuck in this like standstill traffic, which is fine because I have a really good podcast going. And I think that um, it's just because there's no drainage in the road here. I don't think people can get through. But the rain is lightening up. So that's the thing, it's like, you know, I'm from the rainiest city in the US. Like rain, driving in the rain doesn't bother me, but there is no drainage on the roads here. So it is um, a bit of a hazard. Oh, now I'm seeing people trying to drive through over here. Yeah, okay. Well, the rain's lightening up for sure. So hopefully this will this will be clear, good to drive through in a minute. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. It's no longer pouring. The road is not clearing. I am guess I'm just sitting and waiting it out like all these people. And then these guys came and yelled at all of us for blocking the front. All these people like moved over. I moved as much as I could and he went like through here and now he's stuck up there. When he drove through, he was like, I'm gonna show y'all how to freaking drive. I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> and now he's stuck. <laughs> Big trucks are going through now and this guy keeps calling and asking them all for help. It's like you literally were just yelling at all of us. I don't I don't think anyone wants to help you. Really nasty because it's garbage day, so we've got people's garbage like falling over. There's not even any houses near here, so these ones must have floated a long way. But then there's like all the garbage just going down the street. Some guy just came through and gave us an update that there is one lady at the front of the line here who is refusing to go through the water and that's why we're all stuck. This used to be gushing water out and it has now stopped gushing so I feel like, you know, things are definitely better. Everyone's just driving through that side just fine. I kind of wish I could just go over the barrier. And um, this guy over here is literally taking down the city wall. Um, solve your own problems, sir. Good job. The one guy that was up there is still stuck up there with his girlfriend. The one that was uh, judging us all for stopping. And then people at the light have officially started moving. So like, yeah, we should probably get going through this pretty soon here. I'm literally just waiting for like one small car to make it through and then I'll go. Okay, I feel like this guy on the bike just made it through. We could make it through. So now I don't know why the front car isn't going. Okay, that guy apparently tried to the median and got stuck. I don't know why this car's not going. As soon as they go, I'll go. Everyone over there's making it. Look at that Tesla made it. This is not my first time driving through a flood, guys. I'm gonna make it. We're gonna be fine. There's that loser. I'm not helping you. Bet you yelled at me. <laughs> okay, we did it. Okay, just if you were wondering, that was about 30 minutes and I enjoyed every second of it. Ugh. Anyway, I'm back to my errands, made it in time to pay rent, and I think I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> One thing that really sucks about this new camera that I got that I love, thank you DJ for the Christmas present, what sucks is there's a weird setting that is very easy to accidentally turn on that films everything in slow-mo and with no sound. I have no idea what the purpose of that setting is for, but I'm constantly turning it on. Most of the time I just trash whatever clips, but it really annoyed me because my last vlog, our ring shopping, well, the clips were filmed that way and those were like memories I wanted forever. 
Anyway, I just saw that I filmed a little footage yesterday and it was in that setting. So anyway, this weekend is Labor Day weekend. I have a three and a half day weekend because I was off early on Friday. There's lots of things that I need to get done constantly. I mean, I have a wedding in four weeks, so I've been meaning to do these things for the last couple days. The weather kind of derailed those plans. And today's Sunday, usually my cleaning day. So I did a little bit of cleaning because like, you'd think I could just easily move cleaning day to tomorrow, but the house is out of control. I've got so much to do for the wedding, but I'm like partially sometimes just like not motivated so I was just laying in bed watching TikToks and putting it off and then I saw a bunch of wedding TikToks so thank you so much to my algorithm and so that got me in the mood to want to get married so now I gotta go buy some stuff that I need to make the wedding good pretty much everything for the wedding is set I've just been in like go mode like buying all the things that I put off doing pretty much anything that I can at this point um, there was a lot of stuff that was like, oh, I'll do that closer to the wedding, and now we're closer to the wedding, so... Because I'm also in busy season with my job, so I feel very overwhelmed and stressed constantly lately. I guess, like, there are only a couple things that are, like, stressing me out for the wedding. One thing that, like, no one really talks about is, like, how you don't get to, like, see things in advance. Like, everything that I have planned is, like, I don't know what it's gonna look like until my coordinator puts it out and like I won't even be there for setup so I'm like really trusting that my plans are good but it's hard to say and it's like you know do I have enough stuff to make it look like I tried or like I really don't you know want it to look cheap but like I'm not rich like I haven't been putting like thirty thousand dollars into this or anything so Trying to figure out in advance if it's good enough has been really difficult. Otherwise, like just coordinating, like everyone's going to be here. It's really exciting that we're gonna have like all of our loved ones in one spot, but it's also like a little bit stressful because it's just a lot to coordinate. And when I'm already thinking of like, I can't fit all my bridesmaids in my car. Those are like the little things stressing me out. And I'm not too stressed overall. I was listening to a podcast, someone talking about their wedding, and they were saying how, they were saying there's there's kind of a give and take of either you have the honeymoon right after, and that kind of avoids the low drop of like, wedding's over, now what? Um, or you have the honeymoon like in a couple months so that you have something to look forward to. And I could see the benefit of either way. Um, for me, we have like no set plans for our honeymoon. We keep changing our idea. What I realized, the best thing for me is that the day after our wedding is October and we go full Halloween mode, spooky season, like so in action, it's gonna be great. Like <laughs> we go spooky season, we go Christmas, no downtime. I cannot wait for spooky season. And I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby to get the wedding things that I need, but it's Sunday, so Hobby Lobby's closed, so I realized I could just go to like Michael's instead, and that's a perk because they have Halloween stuff at Michael's. I am trying really, really, really hard not to spend my extra money on Halloween stuff because I should be putting it towards wedding stuff, but I'm gonna go take a look around and start peeping what Michael's has to offer and uh, you know, maybe start getting my home a little cozy in advance here. Anyway, I'll take you guys along with me to Michael's we go. I have been really back and forth about like spooky season starting because I know in the past I, I'm a strong advocate for celebrating it starting September 1st so that we have a full two months of fall before we go to Christmas. <laughs> this year I, it's a little different because of the wedding and because it's just so hot. Hold on, I forgot. I mid-thought remembered I need to... I don't know where Michael's is. And why do they think I'm in Anchorage, Alaska? Why on earth would I be near Anchorage, Alaska? I don't know when I'm, like, starting spooky season this year because I do just kind of want to focus on the wedding here. What I really just need is TikTok to show me a lot more, like, fall things. I'm thinking of just making it through Labor Day and then doing, like, some Halloween decor. 
Um, but I believe it is tomorrow. The weather was so bad the last two days that it felt like, okay, it's fall. But here we are back to 99 degrees. So anyway, I was going to say another thing after the wedding, DJ and I have decided to prioritize kind of redoing our living room, i.e. buying a new couch ASAP. Um, just because our current couch, while it's beautiful, it it's small. It, we bought it because of how perfectly it fit into our old apartment and it is now pretty worn in and not so comfortable to sit on. We're prioritizing that over a honeymoon at this time, which I think is totally fair because like 99% of the time that we're hanging out, we're sitting on that couch together. So that is like our, our love time. And if we went on a honeymoon, we would more than likely be sitting on a couch at a hotel or an Airbnb hanging out together. <laughs> so we might as well just do that at home. I am someone who just thrives off of change. I love when things change. I don't like life being the same very often. So we've been in this house a year. It is about time we got new furniture in the living room. Um, but speaking of big changes coming, uh, very exciting one. I'm changing my last name in less than a month. This is my last month being a Smith. I am really looking forward to that. Like just because it's like, it's such a like big change. Like my work email is gonna have to change and signing my name, I'll have to change it and stuff. I don't, I just, I'm really like eager for that. I've never been very attached to the last name Smith because it is literally the most boring last name possible. And Peters is not necessarily that much more exciting, but I have always been really partial to the name Peter. So I, really like that I will be a Peters and like me and DJ will be family. <laughs> okay, you guys should all be proud of me because I didn't overspend on Halloween stuff. The only Halloween item I got is this little bathtub with ghosts in it. <laughs> Cause actually I thought it would be cute um, as a ring holder. Like by our sink because I have my ring box that I always put my ring on when I like take a shower and um, DJ has been wearing his wedding band all the time still to get used to it and he stretched out my ring box with his huge ass band so I thought it would fit over the big ghost. <laughs> Everything Halloween at Michael's was 40% off. I just wasn't feeling it with anything and I also went to Marshall's and didn't buy anything. I also went to this random furniture store that was like mostly empty and everything was on clearance and there's like no name on the store so I have no idea what it was but I found my dream couch but not realistically because that couch would be way too big for our space and I can't have like a light colored fluffy couch with my dog shedding black hairs all the time that would just get ugly real fast so I just enjoyed uh, browsing the furniture. I'm going to go make a return now and I was just thinking I don't think I'm gonna go with the purse that I bought for the wedding. I think I'm gonna go home and shop for a new purse and return the one I got. It is time. Which one's more important? I got this too. Drove like 30 minutes for them, but I thought they're so cute and I'll just display them, I don't know. <laughs> I've been like not letting myself buy just little knickknack things that sit on shelves because we already have so many of them and like every shelf or table space is full. But I just remembered this little nook. I think we could fit like quite a few more little skeletons or ghosts in that area. So no more restraint needs to be shown on my end. Okay, show us what you got. Here, you can keep this, it's collectible. Thanks. It's the board game. New board game. It's gonna take one week to set up before we can play one level. 
Look at all this. That's so many boxes. You got multiples of everything? Some box for the plastic trays to condense it all into two boxes. This is a game trays box. <laughs> With a Z. They've branded it. Oh, game look trays. at this. Ooh. It's the turning around zombie. It was the first thing that greeted me. Are you going to hang that on the wall? Frame it. In your office. It'll, it'll go great in here. With our wedding photos. Gold tyrant. Okay. There's that symbol you love. <laughs> now I gotta get to scanning every single one of these. Dude, this looks so nice. Like so clean. Right? It smells so good too. Like brand new CD or something. Sniff it. I literally don't smell a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm happy for you. You this is your own, yeah, your own personal you heaven. You didn't even see the people. Oh. Okay. There's a red tyrant. Oh, your favorite. I prefer gold. Lisa Trevor. Look, they're leaning. Oh. Is she a villain now? Always was. Are we gonna fight her? And we have different people. Finally, this is the first With time Chris. we get to play Chris. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right there. I recognize her. I don't like how many zombies there are. We're never gonna run out. 15 zombies, and I got a monster pack probably out of zombies. Yeah, listen to that. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. Last night was like the earliest I think I've like can ever remember going to bed on a Friday. I was just exhausted. It's been such a week, just getting things done for the wedding, but also like my job just keeps me so busy anyway going to my workout now I go this every Saturday but this is the first Saturday that I am going in with over eight hours of sleep <laughs> hopefully you know that means I'm stronger today maybe I should um, use heavier weights continuing to finalize wedding stuff so we paid the photographer yesterday um, we actually have to apply for our marriage license I just realized so we're gonna do that today to finalize like all the music this weekend and send the schedule to the DJ and we'll go from there I don't know I just have these dreams that are giving me these like subliminal messages bringing things to the surface and I'm like <sighs> that does really bother me it's coming out in my dreams I'm trying to have this attitude that it doesn't have to be like the most flawless day. It's just gonna be a really like fun day. And if it's not the best I've ever looked, who cares? Like, because I'll have another time that's the best I've ever looked. You know what I don't understand is like people who are, who do things like all for the photos for their wedding. I am very much the opposite of that. I'm not doing a single thing for photos. Like the photos are capturing what I'm doing. I just saw a video on TikTok like one of the bridesmaids dress was a little bit off in color. It was like a darker green when they were all wearing like really light sage green. It blended in really well and it looked fine, but they asked the photographer to edit the photos so that they're all the same. And that I do not understand because then your photos are fake. It's not capturing how the day was and it's not capturing your memories. It's like just for Instagram. I don't know, like what is the point of a photo? Because first of all, are you gonna hang a photo of you with your bridesmaids? in your house like I'm not I'm sorry girls but I don't I just don't get that like like photoshopping reality out of it like I just want the photos to capture how things were so I'm trying to have that same attitude with like everything it's like if I don't look my very best that day like I look how I looked when I married DJ and that's gonna be the memory and what matters in the end. I don't know, does that make sense? I am gonna try to look good. Okay, so I went ahead and stopped at Ulta right after my workout, even though I look like this. I also found this random store that was right next to it that sells like really good like party clothes. It's kind of a hose store and they had like really intense security and really intense um, return policy which is basically no returns i did get a purse perfect because i wanted pink i wanted sparkle and it's the right size that i like for a purse and it's lightweight no returns 
so good thing I like it. And I went to Ulta, I got one lip color. I don't know. It was perfect. Why try more when I really like it? And then I was like, I should get a perfume, just like treat myself to a nice one. So I smelled all of them. And perfume has got to be the most overpriced thing. Like, why is it $100 for a bottle? 100, over 100 for a big bottle? Okay, people say like get a perfume that you wear at your wedding and then like whenever you smell it, you'll be like taken back to that. And I was like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna spend money on that. And But then I was like, well, what if I just get like a tester? Because it would like feel nice to like know that I smell good. Plus, I've never run out of perfume before. They didn't have testers for all of the travel size ones. And then even the travel size ones were like $35 when I'm like, if I can't even guarantee it'll smell good. Anyway, when I was checking out, they have these tiny, tiny ones. I, I kind of liked this smell from what I tested. So I'm like, perfect, perfect, tiny little perfumes. I don't have to store them anywhere. <laughs> I'm pretty cheap, <laughs> but uh, I feel like I'm drenched in perfumes now after testing so many, so I need to go home and shower. I'm also so sweaty. Hello, vlog. Happy Sunday. I've just done so much wedding stuff, like taking everything out of packaging, putting it in a box, labeling it, so then it's ready to go and coordinator can put it where it belongs. Good to get things done. But I'm actually just like, ugh, 20 days till the wedding. Yesterday was three weeks, so we're at less than three weeks. 20 days till the wedding. That's too much time. <laughs> I'm ready like I would be fine if we were in crunch time right now and everything like needed to be done and I was in a rush but like I'm so ahead of schedule doing everything like all I have to do is like finish the name plates for additional people who RSVP late <laughs> and and then just fold the napkins it's all done yesterday we even applied for our marriage license like that's how done we are. I mean, we have to go pick it up this week. Basically, I think we're gonna be ready to get married, like every single thing done by Thursday. People really, really, really say like wedding planning is so stressful and it's like a big thing that gets said all the time. I have not really found that to be true, possibly because I am laissez-faire about everything ever, possibly because I am prepared. I guess if I like, really really cared what everyone thinks maybe this would be stressful but i haven't had anyone like put pressure on me about like doing things a certain way now i gotta find something else to do for the next 20 days